Don't you hate when your bread molds too fast and you have to waste it by throwing it out? That used to happen to us too, until we found a better way to keep it fresher and mold free for longer. For some, it's a necessity because it's really hot in the house. For us, normal summer room temperatures is between 27 to 29 degrees Celsius and things like bread, English muffins and hot dog buns just don't last long when left out. There are only two things to do, cut holes and pop it in the fridge. Find out why, where, and how to cut the holes, plus some tips, next. You can do this with your breads from bakeries too, they're fresh breads that probably don't have as much preservatives. So if you want to put it in the fridge, you want to cut some holes to let the moisture doesn't stay in the bag, condensate inside, and then cause mold to grow faster. So usually what we do is we just cut a few holes, small little slits here and there in the top part, a couple of places here and there. And you can adjust based on how full your fridge is because when you do this, the bread will dry out a little bit. So you can kind of adjust how many holes you cut to prevent it from drying too much, but not enough to mold. And definitely by doing this, the bread will last a little longer than what you would normally expect from it. Make sure you get all around and that'll help. There you go. All ready to go to the fridge. You can do it with hot dog buns too. For English muffins and also for things like a bag of cheese. Squeeze the air out but not enough to flatten the cheese but just enough to get the air out because you don't want the cheese all clumping up. When you get the air out and you seal the ziplock area you don't want to zip it airtight. So you leave it open in one corner so that the condensation doesn't build up, the heat can get out, the moisture can get out, the fridge can dry the, the air and you don't get condensation inside and the cheese lasts longer. So we just took this bread out of the fridge. We put the holes as I've demoed throughout this bag and what you want to do when you first do this is after a few hours or overnight take the bread out, take a look to see if there's condensation building up inside. In this case you can see a little bit. It's not too bad, so it's okay. But if you see a lot more condensation or bigger drops of water, then you need to add more holes and open the bag up, use a paper towel, a clean one, and just as cleanly as possible without contaminating the inside of the bag, wipe out the water droplets. And once you've added a few more holes, put it back into the fridge. Just make sure that there's no more condensation building up and you should be good for keeping your bread longer. So today is June 1st. And as you can see, this is the bread that we have been keeping in the fridge. Best before date is May 24th. And we've been able to keep it fresh and without mold for longer than that time. Simply by keeping it in the fridge and doing this hack. See, there's no mold. And we've been able to finish the whole loaf of bread, just one left. The cold temperature and the reduction of moisture actually slows the mold growth. Finding the right balance of aeration is what's needed and that's what this hack is all about. We've used this hack many times over and for different foods from farmers market breads, seed breads, to English muffins and cheese. The great thing about this is that you can just pull it out of the fridge and use it. No need to thaw. It works great for us and can work for you too. This is some good stuff, but no matter what, since all foods are different and your kitchen room temperature and fridge temperature are different than ours, always test and adjust the number of holes you use and always continue to check your food to make sure there's no mold before you eat. If you try this out, let us know how it goes and don't forget to like and share our video to help it reach more viewers. Thanks for your support.